Hey guys, this video is about the lighted push button switch switches. They're pretty much in every aircraft, but specifically this is an EC-135. Uh, it's an Eaton 582 series switch. Here's the aft medical control panel. The day-night switch, it has the aft light switch, the suction switch, the medical inverter, and then the oxygen switch. And they're all lit up. And sometimes you might have to change the light bulbs, or sometimes they break. There's a clip inside. I'll show you. And the high NR switch. And I had to call a guy to figure out how to change these because it's been so long since I had to do this. So I just want to make this video explaining how to replace these, help people out a little bit. But here's the switch with the light capsule, the switch module. And uh, I'll show you how to take it apart. On the side are indents where you can put your fingernails on both sides and pop it out. I don't think I'd want to jam screwdrivers in there. In some places, these switches are is really difficult to get to. So anyway, once you pop those out, it's called a lamp capsule. Once you pop that out, some places it's really hard to get to. Like you can't get in there to pull the bulbs out. So you have to take the whole capsule out. It's not that difficult, but there is, they call it a bail hinge. It's pinned into the side of this capsule on those two holes, one on each side and it's super tiny. So use a little screwdriver and you could pry it out a little bit and then you could take the whole capsule off. Now you have the lamp capsule out and you can go ahead and change the lights, the light bulbs if you want, or lamps. And they're a GE6839 bulb. Man, I had to use a knife to pry it out because it's been in there forever. Then you just pull it out. There's your capsule, back side of it. So once you have the lamp capsule, the front part out, this is what it looks like inside. Of course, I have it out and I'm, of course, holding it in my hand. It's not in the panel, obviously, right? But this is a switch housing. And how you remove the switch housing from the panel, flat tip jeweler screwdriver that's real tiny to get onto those sil silver screws that I have marked there in red, top and bottom. And when you start unscrewing those screws, it's just like a radio rack. Yeah, the Paul assembly holds it into that. It looks like the gold piece that's what mounts on the back. Those two pieces squeeze together onto the like panel. So once you have those Paul assemblies screwed out all the way, it's kind of, it's not simple to remove this. You don't just pull it out the front. I guess you can, but you, it's difficult. So what you need to do is that gold piece, that big gold um, rectangle piece that's on the back side of it, you need to get to the back of that, grab that piece, and move it backwards. And then you need to move the whole assembly forward a little bit, the whole thing. So once you move the whole thing forward a little bit, then you can grab the front and pull the whole thing out. Just like that. Now you have your switch assembly in your hand. And now the back of this switch is all loose so the wires go into the back and they're stuck into the back of this metal piece right here and it just flops around so so the whole reason we had to change this switch housing is because this piece right here this clip that's inside it's in the switch housing broke off so the switch pretty much would pull out the uh, the lamp capsule would pretty much just pull out and it wouldn't stay you know you couldn't turn it on the stuff wouldn't stay turned on like it was permanently in the off position. If you hold it down, it would turn on because you're making connection, but this clip piece or clamp piece wouldn't hold it into place. So this is the back side, or this is the inside of the switch housing like we were looking at before with the lamp capsule removed. And if you look real close, right there is where that clip piece normally is. Like it's all part of that. Like you don't pull it out and put a new one in. Like it's just made, it's there. I don't know, it's manufactured with that in there. And this one broke off. That's what a good one looks like. You can see that little clip piece is right in there. There's just another view of the same thing. And that's where the clip engages on the lamp capsule. So when you put it all back together, you just need to make sure that when you push that lamp capsule back in, you need to engage that clip. So just nice and easy, you push it in and you'll feel it click in. All right, this is what it looks like. Obviously, this isn't in the aircraft. This is just me holding it on the table so you could see when you're screwing that those tiny silver screws back in, that Paul assembly, how it lifts up and then it pulls the whole um, switch assembly into the holder. All right, once you got that screwed in, then you put the lamp capsule back in. It's nothing crazy, super, you know, but that that's a tiny wire and that's a really tiny hole. So it, like I said, some places where these switches are not easy to get to. So yeah, you just gotta finagle that piece right into that hole there. Now it flops around, right? So you just push it in nice and easy right here, click and it engage and it would engage. This is the broken one, right? But the good one, it would engage and then it would hang in there. Then the lamp capsule will be in there nice and tight. So it's not super easy to figure out what the part number is. 
Part number I ordered is 582-10-Alpha-4 Bravo-0 Charlie-3 November-2. Okay. I don't know what the right part number is. I've ordered a couple of these in the past. The one that showed up is 582-N2 Day-Night. And the one I ordered in the past that showed up is 582-N2 Oxygen On. All right. That makes sense, I guess. Um, one is the day-night switch and the other one is the oxygen switch. But in the end, the part that you really need is the switch housing. It's all the same. I mean, all of those are the same, the 582N series. The rest of the part number is what the lamp capsule says on it. So if you end up needing to change the day-night switch, but you get an oxygen switch, that's right, you could take the, the piece that you need and just change the lamp capsule on the front because that still works. That part's not busted. Like I said, I've only ran into this a handful of times in the last, I don't know, long time, right? So if you have the problem that I had, then all you need is the switch module, which is this black piece on the right. All right, not crazy complicated, but like I said, um, I had to call a guy because I totally forgot how to change these things. And uh, I just want to make a quick video. So, you know, just a quick review, refresher for guys who've never seen these things before. Not complicated, but if you don't know what you're doing, then uh, yeah, you just end up scratching your head. So, all right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys found some value in this video. See you guys next time.